Hello everyone, and welcome to Dredge, an actual horror-themed fishing game, and one which I am so excited to play. You guys have been suggesting this ever since it came out on Steam, and I am just so fascinated by the concept. I love nautical horror, because it's just so ripe for the unknown and adventure and legends. Not to mention, never knowing what's lurking beneath those waves. Just how deep this ocean goes, and what could come up from the abyss and swallow you whole at any moment. It's all about exploring and wanting to know what's out there, even for as dangerous as it may be. There's just so much potential for creepy and comfy in the aesthetic of the one-eyed old sailor telling his stories in a bar by lantern light. Stories of ghost ships and huge leviathans. And it's up to everyone there whether or not they believe him. And not to mention the creepy comfy of being on the deck of a ship on a still, dark night. When you see a light in the distance. Well, let's try it out. Job listing. Angler wanted. Uh, so we find ourselves wrecked on some distant shore, do we? It, it seems like the technology involved is a bit more modern than I would have been expecting. I was almost expecting something more in the Age of Exploration, although you could scarcely tell to look at this village. The morning light fills your eyes, and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Ah, it's the mayor. Welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. I guess that means my boat is gone. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Oh well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Okay, so it seems like... See, it's actually incorporating a sense of job simulator horror. I mean, sure, there are horrors untold beneath these waves, but we've also got to make a living. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. And our story begins with a friendly face and an ominous warning, as all good stories do. Oh, let's undock, and ooh! Uh huh, so it is actually a three dimensional view. Heavily stylized, but. Oh, look at how gorgeous this world is! The lighthouse rotating its light on the cliff above, the sun descending below the horizon. Well, actually, it's probably morning, so oh, there it goes. Oh, it seems like time moves more quickly when we're in motion. Actually, the sun acting as a direct gauge of how it's going. And it seems like there's some fish right there in front of us. Let's move over the spot. Uh, this camera is actually really, really helpful. Able to help us, like, move around obstacles while we're horizontal and look for fish while we're vertical. Well, it seems like these are fish of the quite normal variety, so let's start fishing. Uh, okay, a whole lot of UI. 
But I guess this is our inventory. We'll have to be doing some management, it looks like. And start fishing. Press F at the right time to reel faster. Boop. Okay, and we catch a blue mackerel, which we can place over here. All right, let's try and catch more then. There we go. Now this is fairly easy, but I imagine it's going to get more complicated. Uh, boop, and boop, and yet another one. Um, and it says stock low, so I guess we can overfish a spot. Tell you what, if we leave, can we maybe see some of what else is out here? See if there's different value in some of these others? That looks like it might be something different right there. Uh, see, this is great because I really do love business sims. I mean, besides tactical shooters and horror games, they're probably my most played genre. So to combine that with Lovecraftian horror, at least I assume Lovecraftian horror. Oh, it says disturbed water. I don't have the right equipment for this spot. So I'll have to make what I can here and try and, uh, try and make my way. Actually... Hmm, there's some things over here. It looks like some planks in the water. And a message in a bottle? Uh, collect item. What do we get for that? August 20th, 1927. And it said item added to cabin. Okay, so if we press tab, we can go to our cabin and see all kinds of information. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon. And our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater at the great at the back of Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking, yeah, as I've seen. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he'll keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night. Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly. Unless you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. Oh, so we've got that sailor superstition in this game. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it. But I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. Have you just doomed the thing? I think he's prepared a surprise picnic lunch. And I can see the basket, half-hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. That's sweet, but does that maybe mean you didn't get very far? Alright, and everything has a hotkey, so I don't really have to fumble around in menus too much. Now, what happens if we go over here? And it looks like there are other ports. But for now, I think we'll be serving Greater Marrow for the most part. Oh, and we don't have the equipment for this, but here is where we're able to earn the game's title and dredge certain spots. All right, uh, let's leave here and just go back to catching as much mackerel as we possibly can. We want to start with as much money as we can get. This one is a little bit more challenging. Uh, boop, and boop. Ah, uh, this is cod. Uh, and we have to Tetris this, do we? Okay, and we can rotate if need be. Alright, well, I imagine more difficult catch will probably fetch a higher uh, reward, right? Uh, if we rotate you like that, you can go like that. Yeah, early on, it'll be very valuable to learn just what is worth it and what is not. So we can go like that and put you there. Get another. I'm getting the hang of this already. There we go. And there are no more fish here. Uh, I wonder if uh, I wonder if it's not maybe better to conserve. Oh. But the night is certainly catching up with us. Let's uh, try and tug back to port now. I mean, shug. Uh, I had not thought of... Uh, what was it called? Theodore the Tugboat or something like that? Oh, wow, that's a name I haven't thought about in years. I'm not even sure if that was the title, but now I'm really thinking about it again. 
That show itself was kind of creepy. It was like uh, Thomas the Tank Engine, but for boats. Alright, uh, we can select our lights by holding E and toggle them with right click. They help me see, but make me more visible, too. Creepy. Well, let's dock and sell our catch. We step onto the dock at Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. We should discuss what it is that's out there that makes you not want me out there. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel, yours to own. Uh, well, we only caught a few fish. I don't know if we'll be able to afford that just yet. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Are you going to be our Tom Nook? Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt and, in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Okay, where do I sell the fish? Our local fishmonger will appraise and purchase what you catch. He's open all hours. Off you go, then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Okay, I I'm actually really enjoying the gameplay so far. There's just something really awesome about this level of progression, of having your efforts be tied to something greater, not just making money, but improvements to the town itself. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly down a downca around a downcast man behind the counter. Yeah, this is the guy you want handling your food. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the other one? He, uh... It takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different. But while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. Yeah, presumably the faster we do that, the less interest we'll have to pay. So, let's see what you got. I think I did okay. Sell all fish for $116. There we go. And you took $17 from my debt. Alright, so let's return to town. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? Huh, research part. A curious looking component. Could be used to develop new equipment, but... Would need some investigation at the dock first. Okay, I'll take it, I suppose. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Uh, it's always a good sign when I'm already enjoying the game, even before the horror elements take hold. Alright, uh, we can rest, or we can go see the shipwright. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. Huh. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks, or any damage at all... I can patch it up. Mostly. You guys are remaining real secretive about this. Almost like you're desperate to keep me around. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Take a look around. 
Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So plan ahead. Okay, but all of it is way too rich for my blood right now, except for the simple skimmer. Uh, which I... Eh, I could do. But I think I'm going to save up for a little while and weigh my options. Now we have some rusty engines for sale. They're not very good, and of course I'm not going to buy them now, but... Ours is a peculiar engine. Someone's tuned this engine in an unfamiliar way. Whatever they did seems to have given it more power than normal. Well, the people of this village are definitely versed in the ways of the sea, and whatever unique challenges this one in particular presents. Oh, and I've just realized that certain areas are actually designated for certain upgrades. Alright, well, let's return to town and try and just... Eh, only 32.58 remaining, so that's not too bad. I guess the price model is not going to be... Alright, here's where we can use the research parts. So if we invest that research part in a better reel, right now it's 50%, however, uh, oh, now the hydraulic rod is available in stores. All right, maybe, maybe we should have gone for a better engine, but for now I'm happy to just uh, make money where I can. Let's rest until dawn. There we are, and uh, as we undock, Oh, well, I don't see it now, but I did notice that weird beam going up into the sky. Very peculiar indeed. Uh, it looks like there's more for us to see in our cabins, so let's have a look at our encyclopedia. Ah, we can actually see our stats and all kinds of information about our catches. Those cod are worth quite a bit more than the blue mackerel, so maybe we'll head out in search of more of those. Not for what this is, it's actually quite relaxing. And of course, I'm waiting for all that to be thrown on its head once we start getting into, well, bigger game. But for now, I'm having a pretty good time. I would like to keep more to COD if I can. Wow, that time really does not last long. Ooh. This is something else entirely. Arrow squid. At this point, it's probably worth catching a bunch of things just to figure out, like, what we can learn about them. I mean, filling up that encyclopedia is certainly worthwhile. Knowledge is power in a game like this. And, of course, it doesn't hurt to supplement my income while we're at it. Although, I wonder if some things just aren't good for eating. Alright, let's make our way back into port. Yeah, that weird beam over there that arrives every night. When we have a little more time to explore, a little more ability, maybe we'll go over there and try and check what that's about. But in the meantime, let's go see the fishmonger and see what we can get for these guys. I've had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Tell me about it. They asked for one gulf flounder and one gray eel. Just bring them in when you have them. Okay, we'll probably have to upgrade for those. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water fish in order to catch those. The shipwright should be able to sort that for you. Well, I hope I'll have the money. Some fish prefer deeper water, while others stick to the shallows. If you're looking for something specific, it's important to know what depth you're working with. We need the right tools for the job. But we can make a whole bunch of money selling all this. And that's most of our debt paid already, I think. Sorry, sorry. It's a mess in here. I've just been so busy lately. You know how it is. Exhausting. Yeah, I feel that. Well, we can buy a shallow water fishing line. Uh, and a simple skimmer. Both are good. However, the weighted line is significantly better. So let's buy that and place it over here, and it'll take three hours for you to install it. Now right now, it would seem that we don't have any light at all. So I think we're going to want to make our first light a decent one, the cloudy lens. Ah, it actually measures lumens range. Ah, that is so cool. I, I like games like this that are very granular. 
hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? I've come to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Well, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Uh, before we go to bed, let's have a look at our cabin and see what we can learn. Uh, these arrow squid rises from the depths at night to feed or be fed upon. They fetch 14 each and uh, they do only come out at night. So the time of day actually matters. We can actually see that down here now that I look at it. Now pursuits. Okay, so pursuits are like missions. We've got to go and get at least one flounder and one eel. I think we've seen some of those, or at least the flounders. I'm assuming that that's what one of those things was. So let's rest until dawn and get back out there. Now, now I believe I saw some flounder over here on the right. Um, this soundtrack is actually really quite nice. It's got that sense of adventure. It's very soothing, and yet just a little bit of a sense of foreboding. Oh, but we haven't even left the shallows yet. Not like I have any right to be talking about foreboding. All right, these have to be the flounder, right? There we go, gulf flounder. Oh, they take up quite a bit of space, but we can grab a couple more. Just make sure to leave room for some eels. Ooh, wait, what are those, what do the yellow spaces do? Um, they were only there fleetingly. We have gotten those now. Before we do anything else, we'll want to find some eels. And I think I spotted what might have been such things all the way over here. Uh, oh no, that's probably you guys, the guys we couldn't fish on day one. All right, only one of you, that's all we need. Ooh. Oh, there's actually quite a bit of variety in this little mini game. You guys are long. Okay, so that's actually uh, we have Tetris ourselves out of this. Uh, inventory management is quite a big deal. Yep, I've got the fish for the order. Just leave whatever you have here. I'll keep the order on ice until it's all ready to go. Okay, so we can do this uh, piece by piece, but we've got everything and we get actually a good amount of money. But none of that goes to paying off our debt. He wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. I've got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Don't see many people fishing these days. They only feed at night and... Well, you know what nights are like around here. Good luck. No! No, I don't know what nights are like around here. All right, if you're ever hunting for a specific species, check your encyclopedia. It could have the information you need. All right, and if we sell off the re remaining flounders, that should pay off our debt. The town, the mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand our facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. We might have something to talk about to you soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. I can't wait. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. And let me guess, I have to dredge for those? There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get at them. The materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored. So don't worry if you only have half of what we need. 
a whole lot to do here. Uh, multiple upgrade trees. And these things will be allowing us not only to perform better out at sea, but also to uh, have the capacity for better upgrades. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Um, sure. It says I can return these items later. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. Why is that bell tolling? The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Oh no, I have to do this now? It's already 2 o'clock! Okay, so east towards Little Marrow. Alright, I should go. I should go. I don't want to screw this up. Uh, that's got to be it over there, right across the bay. Alright, first time visiting, presumably, Little Marrow. Hmm, what? A delivery? Well, let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Oh, I should have examined it. Yep, nice and fresh. This'll do nicely. Um, to pay you, I suppose? He hands you some money. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat any time. I know how lonely it can be. Alright, well, let's do have a look at our, at our cabin. Uh, sustainable fishing. On shelf, 0% complete. Ah, so it's like Project Zomboid, is it? It takes time to read? But once we do it, we can presumably unlock like abilities and such. Now, we know how to catch arrow squid, we have the encyclopedia entry on them, but we don't know how to get black groupers. Uh, we'll I'll just have to look around. Presumably they're in the area. Ooh, and there's a trader. You enter a brightly lit shop. And it's packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. I like how each of these characters is interesting and unique. They're not just, like, generic traders. There's actually different reasons to visit different towns, and a different experience when you do tasks in each one. Hello? Is that...? No, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, oh, you know what? Maybe time passes when we're out at sea. Let's try moving around right now. Uh, it's all rainy, so it doesn't seem like there's very much out here. We need more squid, and we need some large groupers. But maybe it'll be worth uh, heading out a little bit just to see what's out there. That looks like something quite large. And yes, 5% complete. So this is indeed what we have to do. Uh, I don't have the right equipment. Yeah, this is quite a bit deeper. Oceanic. So for now, we're limited to what we can catch in this bay. I'm just going to start grabbing myself some eels for the money. Uh, but we've got to get a light from a port, because if we don't have one of those, we won't be able to uh, come out at night and catch those squid. Still no word on what we do about those groupers. Ah, trophy caught. Oh, and I imagine these probably sell for more, right? Oh, practically worthless, but enough to stave off hunger? Oh, it's the same description for all of them. Oh, I just realized, oh, they each have their own size. I didn't even notice, so that probably influences the price as well. Ah, oh, so we actually have, like, 
awesome catches. How do you compare to the others? 27.5. Oh, wow. That's quite a bit more. All right. Ah, oh, there's just so much to do in this. So many things to consider. We haven't even really gotten started yet. Don't overcommit yourself. Especially when that sun starts going down. Better to come back with a small catch than to not come back at all. Whatever, just take my stuff. All right, we are going to buy ourselves a cloudy lens for $180. And install it within an hour. Tonight, we're going to see what it's like to be out on the sea when night falls. Ooh, wait, spyglass. Get a closer look. Can I identify fishing spots at a distance? Oh, nice. I wonder if we can maybe even upgrade this. Okay, blue mackerel, blue mackerel. Dredge. Hmm. But anything beyond this bay, it really doesn't matter. I think maybe those groupers do come out now? Uh, but those look like they might be some kind of rays, judging from the uh, silhouette. I'm really making an effort right now to not uh, go too far into the uh, encyclopedia, because I don't want to be spoiled by those silhouettes. Ah, Gulf Flounder. Alright, now night is falling. Ooh, Foghorn, make your presence known. Now, why would we want to do that? But... Ooh, wait, stronger lights lessen the effects of panic. Hmm, now that is concerning. Alright, let's grab you guys. Yep, you guys are a little bit tough. Very small window. But we get a stingray. And wow, you guys are large. Uh, as well as keep an eye out for groupers. What are you? Ah, there we go. A black grouper. But we don't really have room for you. Uh... Tell you what, I'll keep you for the job and uh, place this. Uh, we we need we need better cargo already. All right, let's discard this one. Exposure to fog and other things increases your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. Okay, and it becomes much harder to spot what's out here at this distance as well. Okay, we just need one, I think. There we go. And since they're small, we might as well stock up. Uh, that eye must be what indicates our level of panic. I can't help but notice that it's emanating the same colors as whatever that is over there. But let's ooh, hastily make our way back to port. Oh, without a light with good range, we actually can't see objects in the terrain and... Well, presumably anything else. We've got to take it slow at night in the fog. Or else we risk running aground and damaging ourselves. Now is when the spookiness kicks in. Okay, but let's uh, turn off our lights. And complete this job. Yep, we've got the fish for the order. And let's sell you all. Two squid. Two squid and one grouper. $92. Not bad. I didn't think you had it in you. Night fishing is a tall order. Been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture I've been considering. Crab pots. I've got one here for you, in fact. It's a bit banged up, but you could get it fixed at the shop right. Or, sorry, ship right. Sorry, that's a brand. That's a brand. Don't sue. Should be pretty straightforward. Just drop it out at sea anywhere, and then come back after a day or two to check it. I've got a customer after a fiddler crab and a common crab. Both can be found around here. I found this book out back. Could be useful to you. Alright. Well, I haven't actually finished the other one yet, I don't think. The fishmonger reaches around the counter and hands you a damp, battered book. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck up on the cover. Some really nice uh, flavor text in this game. All right, and we'll sell you the rest for an additional $91. Now, shipwright. Looks like some of your equipment could use some fixing. 
We can repair that here. Yes, I would very much like for you to repair that for 750. Now our next big goal is going to be this hydraulic rod. That'll not only increase our fishing speed, it'll allow us to catch oceanic creatures. But in the meantime, uh, let's just get some shut-eye and reduce this panic. There we go. Now I, I don't know yet what panic actually does. I just love games that track your stats, your best ofs, and, you know, just a whole who's who. There was a game years ago that I was obsessed with called Jaws Unleashed, and I really liked how there was actually, like, a whole bestiary for every single creature in the game. Ah, uh, so, uh, these black groupers go for 35 apiece. And stingrays for 60. They appear at any time of day, so even though they're large, we get quite a big payout from them. And our next pursuit is for crabs, so let's go out there and, uh, and try to do some... What do you call it? Crabbing? Do you just call it crabbing when you drop a cage? Alright, so we can select a crab pot and drop it with a uh, right click. They catch things over time, but need repairing ever so often. Okay, so let's drop that, say, right here. And there's a buoy to mark where it is. And for the rest of the day, let's just head out into this dreary storm. Actually, maybe we should have our light on and grab what's out here. Ah, and we finished our sustainable fishing practice. Okay, so uh, we'll have a look after this is done at what that does for us. Ooh, wait. We just found a weird one, Cyclopean Flounder. A sprawling, jellied mass spills from a single eye socket. What appears to be a dark pupil is, in fact, the center of an egg. Uh, well, what do we do with that? Oh, no. What is it today? You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Ah... Uh, now this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm. I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Well, we got a lot for that. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing, and I'll pay you for the fish, too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. A once beautiful handkerchief drawn from the insides of a grotesque fish patterned with a delicate crimson thread. A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it. But not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Okay, well, we'll save that for morning. In the meantime, I've got enough money that i got to start thinking about upgrades. Let's have a look at that thing in the encyclopedia. Ah, uh, but now that we've completed sustainable fishing, we have a 10% chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. Oh, I see. A 10% chance to not, like, reduce the number that we can fish in that spot. Okay. So we'll set rods, reels, and rigs to that. Now, a Cyclopean Flounder. Now, if we have a look at our map for the first time... Over here, presumably, is where we're heading, to Blackstone Isle. Uh, but like I said, we'll be doing that in the morning. Meantime, I'm going to go out and try and get some night fishing done. 
we have enough money now for that hydraulic uh, rod. See, what I'd really like is to try catching some more groupers. I mean, they are some big, big boys, and they fetch a big, big price. Oh, I'm also seeing that there is a message in a bottle over there. But here's some groupers. Ah, prized grouper. Ah, that is excellent for us. But that's the last of them. At least we made it count. You know what? Our panic is still low enough. Maybe we do head over to Blackstone. I mean, it doesn't look too far. Let's grab that message in a bottle and see what awaits over there. Just, 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 huh? What is all this? Maybe I shouldn't be out here. I think the fog is getting to me. But we're close to port. We are close to port, and that's what matters. Uh, is this your home? This crumbling old mansion? Now that's some eerie music worthy of the look, the two lights on in the uppermost chamber, and the rest totally in darkness. The man is standing in a doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. I think now we may be getting to the Lovecraft portion of the game. I was enjoying fishing. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector. Of many things. Art and artifacts. Treasures and truths. And curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. Hmm. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks in dark depths. Find me these lost relics, and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. Now, you're not really my type, but okay. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? Well, if it'll alleviate my panic. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and a key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Oh, now we're looking for shipwrecks? This is exciting. And that's the thing. When it comes to the ocean, it's a massive barrier separating you from this whole other world that lies just below. It's a scenario ripe for horror, but also one for curiosity. For legends and rumors, that's what I love about nautical horror. Uh, now, I hope my fish haven't spoiled too much. I should actually have a look at them. Fisherman, have you run into a photographer on your travels? She docked here a few days ago for supplies. I suggested that she take some pictures of the town for promotional purposes, but she didn't seem too interested. She mentioned she was heading south. Perhaps you should introduce yourself. Okay. Uh, we've got things to do with all these people. Oh, we can actually uh, talk to everyone here. 
All right, but first we are going to the fishmonger. So all this, only 83 bucks. You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. And what's it like out there? It's peaceful. And it's got to be a lot better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward. Moving along. I can't go back. She's gazing out to sea again. Lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move? I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about. Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit, too. Just stack it up at Steel Point when you have anything. I'll pay you when the job's done. Okay. Uh, first, though, I want to see the shipwright. We need these upgrades. Now, uh, hydraulic rod. But I can't put it in here. What does that creepy old lighthouse keeper have to say? What is it? Have you heard of any strange things happening? I see plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. Yeah, I bet, old timer. Sometimes I don't know whether I can trust my own eyes. She holds the lantern up so that it shines brightly onto your face. Are you really standing here in front of me? Or is this just another of the fog's tricks? Who lives on Blackstone Isle? I see a lot from up here, you know. I saw that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watched an unnatural glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. Hmm. Alright, well, let's get down to business. Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. There's a spot near the back of Greater Marrow where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. We simply cannot heed your warnings. But it seems like that'll be easier to find if we arrive during the night. So that's what we'll do. Now, it's actually in our best interest that we go and uh, bring up those crabs. In fact, that blue light uh, seems to indicate that maybe it's got something. We can search these other ones as well that we didn't put there. Ah, we've got ourselves a crab. A common crab. Uh, which we can bring over to the, uh, to the fishmonger. Oh, wow. That fiddler crab is quite large from the look of it. I think I'm going to spend the next day just kind of making what I can around here. And then at nightfall, head out in search of that wreck. Now, let's actually see. Can we dredge this now? We can with the upgrades that he gave us. Okay, so press F to change lanes and avoid gaps. Oh, I see. This is a little bit more active. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. And we got some lumber. Uh, let's try for something else. Uh, some of these gaps are quite difficult to negotiate. Uh, there we go. And some more lumber. Uh, I think that's some of what we needed for uh, the builder's house, right? But now as we go into night... Uh, we complete that, uh, ooh, 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 I almost ran into the rocks. We completed our next book. Okay, let's turn that on and have a look at what that weird light in the distance is. Look, we can see other ships sailing about. And we can fish here, but it's oceanic. We bought the upgrade, but we can't do anything with this yet. Maybe that's what we're looking for. Maybe that light actually leads the way to that wreck. 
Well, it's a calm, but nevertheless rainy night out on waters we've not yet traversed. Who knows what could be out here? I can hear that foghorn in the distance. We've got to be careful to avoid a collision. Oh. It actually looks like there's something down there. Sometimes they seem to come out of nowhere. That is quite a terrifying noise. It's coming for me. Wait, what is that? What is that? Oh my god, it's not a ship at all. It's What is that? A hull damage, lumber lost overboard. That looked like an anglerfish or something. Let's turn on our light. What is this? Can we... We can't do anything here. It's just increasing our panic to... Oh, that's a lot. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, it's like it's remaining attached to me. I think we should leave. I think we should leave right now. I think that was too much for me. Oh, that was around the back, around the north, right? Let's, uh... Oh, I don't know how far we are from the from where we need to be. Let's try and get something out of this. Grab a grouper. Stick you there. But we really need to get out of here. Our sanity is not doing good. Day is breaking, but we're damaged. And I need to learn how to deal with that. What are these? What are these? Demonic birds? Wait, blue mackerel lost to the birds. Okay, what do we do about them? Uh, is there anything we can do about that? Don't you take my grouper. Don't you take my grouper. Maybe we can... Uh... They're just taking the mackerel, just the small fish. Oh man, there's so much that I don't know how to deal with. The horror elements were absent for so long, but they're coming in in a big way now. All right, I've got a flounder and a grouper. Please just give me money, I need it for repairs. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna put this in storage and I'm gonna bring this out and see how that does us. It's going to take some time, but if we're going to be spending more time in the oceanic regions, well, we're going to want it. It's pretty late now, so I think we're going to leave and see what we can do. Uh, let's try doing some fishing with our new hydraulic line. These look like some kind of sharks. Ah, uh, bronze whaler. Uh, and you guys are quite large indeed. I don't know if we'll be able to get another one. So that's two. Okay, wow, these uh, whalers are worth a hundred each. Only five for the crab, but that's all right. That will certainly replenish our losses from the previous night. Uh, I really feel like I could use some more stuff, but I don't have any uh, research parts. I just don't feel equipped to be out there. I mean, there was nothing I could do about any of that. And the bronze whaler is a beautifully colored but deadly predator. There's some whispering. Well, this is not good for us. This is not good at all. And I've learned not to trust these lights, that this game really will play with our perception. That a friendly ship off on the horizon may not actually be so. In fact, I get the feeling that you are not. Nope, I just watched you. I just watched you. The stone trembles before you. Unknown symbols glow from within. Place your hand on the stone. A sudden chill rushes through the marrow of your bones, surging up your arm, your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. The town of Greater Marrow burns. The lighthouse lies collapsed its light extinguished. A red glow fills the sky behind a cyclone that drains the world. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Okay, the sun is rising, and I'm starting to think we've missed our opportunity. It's gotta be that glow. It's gotta be that big pillar. But sometimes there's other lights from the sea, and I don't know yet what those mean. 
Uh, I see... We can see a shipwreck down below, and we can dredge here. Okay, well, we might as well start trying. Uh. Uh, this dredging is actually quite difficult indeed. There we go, and we got the ornate key! Okay, great, great, great. Uh, what's the best way to Tetris? This is the question. Right there looks good. Okay, so we've got one of the artifacts that guy is looking for. But they could be just about anywhere. Whoa, what was that? Some kind of cyclone? Alright, so weather, also a factor out here. Okay, so we can Tetris you like that. Yeah, you guys are huge, but you definitely give a good payout. So, eh, I like to think that my relationship with the Collector is quite a secretive one. So, for RP purposes, I kind of like the idea of only visiting at night. Now, we can inspect this. It serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and other obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. Oh, so it does actually have an effect on panic. Lousy weather lately. Almost makes you want to not get out of bed. But you and I, we've got to do it, eh? We're what keeps people from going hungry. That's right. Seems it's always one storm or another. Maybe tonight we can dredge some more of the stuff for her house? Ow. Oh. Ah, a worn gold ring. Well, that's nice. I'm not sure that's one of the things we were looking for. Uh, but maybe we can sell it to the guy on uh, Little Marrow. In any case, we've got to once again make our way to the creepy old man in the spire. Uh, the visuals in this game are so great. And the flavor text... It really feels like you're coming away from this with, well, with old sailor stories. I mean, nobody would believe me about the ship I saw on the horizon that rose from the depths and bared its jaws at me. All right, well, let's go see him. You enter the Collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well... You have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key. The teeth. The head. Now somehow seem changed. Smaller. Has it always been this way? Is this all? Where's the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. A burst of light fills your vision, and you stagger back briefly. Now go. We have more relics to uncover. Huh, now what was that we unlocked? My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the southeast, towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Okay, Preston. Anything else? Yes, I, I would like to ask some more questions, thank you. How long have you lived here? Quite some time. I used to be a fisherman, as was my father before. But two decades ago, I took up residence here. I needed to focus on... other endeavors. I found that this island is a certain strength to it. Those dark basalt columns stretching downwards into the deep. Anything else? I'll listen to that music. Having a conversation in this guy's parlor? Not sure what 
otherworldly forces we're dealing with and getting the feeling that he doesn't have our best interests at heart. Well, he's not exactly subtle about it. This is what I think of when I think of the term spooky. Uh, it, it is just such good creepy and comfy and I can't wait to see what else this game has in store. Do you know who owned these relics? Yes. Who? He looks at you. For a moment, a look of something like regret flashes in his eyes. An old friend. Anything else? Well, you already told me where I should look for relics. It's gonna be one at a time, isn't it? Alright. Well, let's have a look. Ah, to the southeast, to the Gale Cliffs. Now that's going to take us a little bit farther than we're used to. So I think I'll wait a little while longer. What can we do in the workshop? It looks as though it hasn't been used in decades. But, but it's locked. Okay. Oh, and the storage is actually universal. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, and I had almost forgotten to read that message. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Marrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It didn't penetrate the hull, but jostled us around and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is of some concern. But we believe all important articles are accounted for. He's been checking over some notes from the boat remaining... He's been checking over some notes from the boat renaming ceremony. He's paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I've never known him to be so superstitious. Now it's to the southeast. That's where we're heading. Uh, I can see some lights off in the distance, but... Uh, oh, there's another one of these things right here. Dark rocks erupt from the earth piercing through the buildings and trees, through sand and crashing waves, through the basalt pillars of this island. The newborn structures crackle with an unknown energy, crimson lightning arcing between them. The earth shifts once more, and the stones lie still. A haste adds speed to your engines, but increases panic and engine heat, Select it with E. Okay, well, we do have a way to effectively sprint with our ship now, but... Well, we don't want to increase panic. Certainly don't want to damage our vessel. Hello, what's that over there? Uh, and for that matter, what's that right here? Oh! It's almost like these glows are like an intuition for some of the dangers and threats that are out here, but... Also some of the things we might find. Oh! It came right for us! Uh, how bad was that? Uh, not too bad. Uh, maybe there's some kind of intelligence to it? But we can dredge this wreck right here. There we go, and we got a bronze belt buckle. Uh, good things to find before we head over to the trinket salesman. Okay, so you're really not going to go away until I try you, huh? There we go. Increases engine heat, so... Does that, and increases panic. I wonder if it does so during the day as well. Welcome. Found anything special lately? Yeah, well, we can sell this stuff for a little bit. Ooh, the bronze belt buckle is actually worth a lot. Hmm, wait, why is sell all trinkets only $22.50? Oh, well, that's just you two. But the bronze belt buckle, it's not considered a trinket. Hmm, that's kind of strange. What should I make of that? Maybe I shouldn't sell it, but I will, because I kind of need it. Oh, wait, there's someone we can talk to here, the Grieving Father. Hello. Is everything okay? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Well, yes, you see... My only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's 
still out there somewhere in one of those wrecks all alone in the cold dark water the man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed the tremors of grief rack his body i was wondering i notice you have some dredging equipment on your vessel if you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck I think he'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle, specially engraved. I'd recognize it anywhere. Okay. You explained that you've sold an engraved belt buckle to the trader. Uh, well, maybe that wasn't his. I'd better go and check before he melts it down. The man hurries away towards the trader. Oh. I feel so bad. Okay, uh, please take this as a symbol of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find it useful. He pulls a book from a stack sitting on his desk and hands it to you. Okay, uh, I can't buy anything back from you. What do you know about any strange occurrences? I don't get out a lot anymore, so I don't see much of what goes on. But I do remember the old mayor in his final days. What an awful sight it was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back, he would cry, over and over. Begging anyone who would listen, howling it to the wind. These days, I almost feel like I understand. Hmm. Well, I'm sure that's not important for later. Ah, we've got you. Awesome. Uh, are we going to be able to fit you just barely? And we need to... Uh, we don't have enough space for the cage. But we can finally complete that job order. That's been a long time coming. The lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Oh, it's you. Who were you expecting? Your engine. It sounds like... I'm sorry. I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. Dejected, she turns and walks back towards the lighthouse. Oh. Well, let's go back to the fishmonger and give him his crab. There we go. And there's our $63. He wraps up the crabs and hands you some money. That'll do. Glad you got some use out of that old pot. You can always buy more here, or repair damaged ones at the shipyard. I have one final request for you. As you've seen, some fish around here can develop odd... deformities. What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of these mutants? They get sick? Well... Perhaps, but I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish. Any will do. Just keep this between us. Uh, you've got ambitions, huh? If you're wanting to get a bit more out of your engines, take a look through this book. On the house. Uh, we are getting all kinds of skill books, which is good for us. At the very least, it'll help us flesh out our knowledge of the world, and, well, maybe we'll be able to find some shipwrecks while we're at it. Hmm, it seems there are some materials washed up near the shore. Ah, an entire wreck reveals itself as we get close. A once strong wooden hull lays broken against the shoreline. The stern is completely beached. Let's try to get inside. You pull a bit closer and manage to clamber into the back of the wreck. I look around and find pearl earrings, a research part, excellent, and a bolt of cloth. Okay, it could be used for vessel renovations. And I'll take that scrap as well, why not? Hmm, it looks like someone set up a makeshift camp on the shore over here. 
I don't know if the metal scraps count as, like, scrap scrap. Um, oh, there you are! Cast away! I'm saved! Saved! Oh, you are a sight for sore eyes. What happened? I washed up here. Oh, it must be some two weeks ago now. We were in rough seas when a wave hit us broadside, and I was just jostled overboard and swept away. I thought my crew would have come to find me by now, but yours is the first ship I've seen pass by here. Did the boys send you looking for me? No. Oh well, I'm sure they're out there looking anyways. Can you get me to Little Marrow, stranger? I should be able to catch them there when they next stop by. Alright, sure, I'll take you. Oh, you take up cargo space. Wow, you are a big boy. Alright, the castaway climbs aboard. Alright, let's go. Uh, just a word of warning. Things get uh, a little weird around here at night. Let's try and make it back quickly. Ooh, look. Whales! Oh, very majestic, although... I hope they don't try to tip me over. Oh, wow! They have blowholes and everything! Oh, this game, honestly, I really like how it's not just the scares, the creepiness. And it's also got the adventure and the majesty. But things are getting quite dark, so we really can't get to Little Marrow soon enough. Well, I guess it's good to have a travel companion times like this. Oh. Ah, the sweet, rank smell of civilization. I thought I could never miss it. He turns to you. For someone who's just been saved, he seems gloomy. I've not got much on me, as you can imagine. And I have a feeling this isn't worth much anymore, for me at least, but perhaps it'll be worth something for you. He removes a signet ring from his left hand and presses it into yours. It's emblazoned with a signal of a captain's wheel. Hmm. Well, I'll certainly take it. I'm not selling this. On to better horizons, friend. Farewell. I'm not selling that, I'm keeping it. Hmm, now on the one hand, the flexible fishing pole would give us a greater range when it comes to uh, being able to catch things. But a better engine would be nice as well. I've only got the one thing. I think we just have to keep dredging wrecks and finding research parts. In the meantime, I'll take the fishing pole just so that I can... Oh, we need two. We need two. Hello, there's a boat right here. Uh, can we go and interact at all? Oh, I haven't seen yet if we can interact with our fellows out here. You pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Who goes there? A fisherman. What do you want? I was just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No, I am very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Marrow, but I'm being stalked. A huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in the water, its gaping mouth just below the boat. It would have swallowed this vessel whole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows. I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain. Okay, I guess I'll do it for you. Addressed to the dock worker at Little Marrow. The courier pushes a lumpy brown package through the door hole, and it squelches slightly as you take it from your hands. Dark fluid oozes from one corner. Thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock worker at Little Marrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but... Listen, I know this sounds crazy, but... Sometimes I think I can hear the faintest of whispers coming from it. 
Now, uh, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. Don't have the equipment for it, so... Just be careful with this thing. Whatever it is. Here. Why don't you take this, too? This time, a book is pushed through and thuds onto the deck below. You pick it up. I'll be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe travels. Huh. Now that has me really worried. Does that mean that, uh, whatever was following you, if it does exist, does that mean that maybe it was looking for this thing? Oh, we've got a broken monocle. Alright, I think we'd uh, better make haste on the way back and uh, switch books while we're at it. Night is falling, and I'm hoping I can spare myself some trouble by going with the wind and making haste for that pass with the buoy. I'm really worried for what might be lurking beneath me right now. See, that's the thing. I'm so glad that it has the elements of nautical legends in this game. I have no idea if that person was telling the truth, if they're insane or what. But I do not want to be out of the shallows, I'll tell you that much. Nearly the suggestion of something coming for this thing is enough to make my skin crawl, and... Well, I can't help but think I keep seeing things moving in the waters and the fog. How's the day treating you? I've got a package here for you. A delivery, eh? Oh, it's a big one. Let me see. He takes the large package and examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now if you'll excuse me, wish me luck. He turns and hurries off down the dock without another word to you. Or compensation. Oh, great. Ah, there are some new lights available to us. Halogen Spotlight, uh, 1,800 lumens, so more than double, and a range of 25 meters. Okay, well that's something we want, but we only have one slot, so we can't actually use it. So if we go like that, and like that, and like that, we can purchase that upgrade for $50. And we might as well sell the old one for 90 right? And put this on there. Actually, if we have more space... I wonder if it doesn't maybe make it so that uh, we could have more than one? And that'll, like, stack? I don't know. The lighthouse towers above. Waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of this structure. A vast column of stone shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin? Its purpose exhausted. The lighthouse towers above. It's not just flavor text, it's literal poetry. Ah, we've got another one. Host eel. Okay, we'll bring that back to the dock worker. Ah, and a snag squid. Oh, we are getting all kinds of lucky tonight. Tasting tongues writhe wildly around sets of yellowed, crooked teeth. The top row are flattened like human molars. Numerous glowing shapes flicker and squirm behind a distended rib cage. The rest of the fish is withered and drained. Okay, but I am here to make money. Still got more work to do. Uh, and we've got a prized one as well. Alright, I'm not really in need of money at the moment, but I'm hoping that this will fetch me something. Not to mention we can complete a quest now. Have you got any of those mutants with you? Yes, I do. Remember, 
Any aberrant will suffice. I suspect they are all the same. Underneath. Alright, here, take, uh, take the squid. The fishmonger takes the aberrated fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest, wringing his hands around its slimy body. Yes, this should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth. And why don't you take these, too? They're of no use to me. Oh, they are of tremendous use to me, sir. Hmm. Do you hear that? It sounds like... the faintest whispering. So others are aware of them. It seems like that's probably what we were transporting to the dock worker. And maybe something in the depths doesn't like us doing so. You listen. Silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. Please, sell what you need, then leave. I must deal with this creature. Quickly now. Uh, okay, sell it all for 150. Uh, seems like not a lot for what I sold you, but sure. And let's return to town. The fishmonger's door slams behind you. You hear the heavy scraping of a metal bar sliding across it. So it seems that they know that there is something strange in the waters here, but this, these mutated fish, well, that's something new altogether. I should not have put this game off for as long as I did. I am loving this. Not only is it super creepy, but in a super downplayed way. It's another one of these times where you guys suggest me a game that doesn't look like something I'd normally play at a glance. And yet, it very quickly becomes, like, almost one of my favorites. It's so much fun to play in its gameplay, so much progression, and yet... The story, and just the vibes that it gives off, and the aesthetic that it's decided to attach itself to... It's one that's so underutilized, and yet... I don't know why, because it's one that's so ripe for creativity. It's not just Lovecraftian-themed, it almost feels like I'm reading Lovecraft. When I'm reading the dialogue, when I'm reading the flavor text, when I'm investigating anomalies along the shoreline... And especially when I'm having a meeting with a creepy old guy in his darkened mansion on a lonely aisle as rain pours outside the window. And listen to that soundtrack, it... it honestly reminds me of those old movies I used to take out from the library as a kid. Of sitting there against the wood-paneled shelves and... just feeling like somebody's staring at me through the slats between the books. I can't wait to try more. But that'll be next time. I have the means to improve my boat, and I've got several leads to follow. Next time I try and find more of those artifacts. But until then... If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.